Hey guys, welcome back to what I think, Ow, is the final level, or the final part of Tales of Cherita. It's been a wild ride, but now we need to climb up the Iron Giant to go save Alicia, and the world, so. Come on. Oh, somehow we made that. And there's teleporters. I feel like teleporter mazes? I remember this part of the game very vividly. <laughs> Uh, I played this in a plane. I think I played this final part of the game in an airplane. So I remember that part at least. This is gonna be quite fun. Come on. You. At least there's no fall damage, I don't think. Oh. No! Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun, ain't it? We're in like it's body fluids and we're running very slowly and we can't jump very high. It's like we can jump high, but it's like... You know, I keep trying to get that jump and it just don't, it just don't connect. I wish I could look down when I'm jumping, but I really can't. I wonder what that purple teleporter is for. Let's see, is it coming back? Come on. Got it. I wonder what that purple teleporter is for. Let's take it. I think we're further up now. These ones are much easier to jump on because they're not really moving. They're more of just floating in midair and going up and down. What's happening now? Wait, where are we? I'm confused. What what one were we on? Now now this is this one. Um, is it right? Oh, where am I? Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, where am I? Oh, wait. Stupid sperm. Ouch! Oh, no! The sperm's almost killed me. So jumping on it has an effect of... Uh, teleporting us back to where we were. Ouch! You fuckers! Where are we? Ah, <gasps> oh, that was fucking lucky. Somehow we got there, I don't know how. So we have to get to the yellow one. The stupid sperms need to die. Okay, where am I now? Ain't that a good question? Okay, where am I now? I wish I could look down. Leap of faith. My faith didn't bring me anywhere. Oh lordy lord. This is this is this is not fun. I just remember this part of the game being a pain in the ass. Oh lord. Running around in this stupid giant. Unable to figure out where the hell you are. So, I need to... The purple one is probably more advantageous to get to. Making sure the sperms don't get me, man. The sperms! Man bazooka juice! Okay. Come on, there we go, okay. Alright. Yeah, go towards yellow. Get 
back down. It's like I have to jump on everything twice in order it to register. God, okay. Hitting it again. I just want the sperm gone. Come on, you fuckers, die. There we go. Okay, I need to figure out where the hell I am. Am I gonna make the jump? Ooh, that was close. I missed. Oh, I was like, where am I? Turns out, nowhere. Wait, do I even need to jump? No, I just need to walk. Okay, that was, that would have been good to know. Ah, that's that's annoying. That's very fucking frustrating. I've gotten so far, but I just... I can't look down. There we go, okay. Follow our path again. There we go. I feel the same way, Waffle Boy. These sperms get in the way, and then I just cannot see. the jump thank you okay I wish I could just, I just walk onto it nope I just I can't even see it is it moving while it happens because like you're seeing this, right? I'm falling onto the same exact area where that thing should be, and it just doesn't appear. Like, it... It just doesn't care. Ouch! Mother of God! I hate these stupid sperms. They're so annoying. What the hell are they? I just keep calling them that, but it sounds like that's what they fucking are. That's what they... God, 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 no one loves me. God, God, God. I don't want you to live anymore. Just die, die, just fucking die. Do you feel this? Are you feeling this, Spider Man? Because this is just insanity wrapped up in insanity. Come on. Come on. I fucked over. Ouch! Mother! God. Do you... You know, if I could 
look up and down? I can. I'm an idiot. I should have remembered that from the beginning of the game. Oh god. Having it like this is probably a way better way than living. At least I can track my movements. There we go. I pressed square instead of X. That's my fault. Got to be in the worst directions ever. Okay. All is well. All is well. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just making sure to shoot everything that exists until my my planned journey. Oh, that was close. Shooting it, I'm not. I'm. I'm overshooting it. I'm not undershooting it. It's like, if I, it's like that phenomenon where you hold down forward longer and like harder, and you think, okay, that's gonna make me go faster, and it's like, no, it doesn't. It's just, it makes your hand hurt more. been at the same area just all over and over you know now we have to go back okay no don't go too far okay worst part I guess I don't even know what's happening here. This part doesn't look too bad. So once you get to the last one, then you have, you have a massive problem of that. You still can't look down all the way. Okay. 
My commentary has just been, I am dying, I am dying, sad, sadness, sadness, why can't I jump? Why is that? That's unfair. You know what annoys me the most? Living. Yeah, I hate living so much. I decided to die. This is so fucking annoying. Ugh. I'd much rather have that stupid jetpack than this stupid bullshit. It's like I can get farther. I got really fucking far. I got all the way to the next part. And it's just like... Well, you fucked up one jump. Great. Now go back. Nope, 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 no. No. Ugh. He just launches to the bottom of the ground being like, yep, I'm just going to accept my fate. <sighs> Does the camera always need to be behind Waffle? I don't need it to be behind Waffle. Just fucking die. These things are gonna get in my way. Come on! You know, oh, another bad thing is that his descent is so fucking slow. And I wish I could just change. <sighs> Stay still, buddy. What? Fuck it, let's go in another direction. Let's see, this is useless. Uh, where am I? If I go to this one behind it, I guess I get to go a little bit farther. Barely any help, though. Come on, there we go. Okay. Our big jump. There we go. No! That is bullshit, I can't see. No! Ugh. This entire episode will just be called Climbing Up a Tower for Five Hours. Okay. Stupid sperms need to die. S S N D. Okay. We're making it pretty damn far now. If I fall down again, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill myself. Oh, oh that was close. I wish I didn't jump so high. Just... <sighs> the sperms are coming! No, I do not want children right now. No. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh. I hate.
something's alerting us. It's a giant, weird robot. Would you like to save? Yes! A save right before the final boss? Kick fucking ass. Alright. My lord. Now I forget how to fight this. It's been forever since I fought it, let me remind you. What's it doing? Alright, that's not fun. So I have to kind of strafe it. At least I don't have to aim much. Oh no, here he comes! That's not fun. Who even needs to aim? Alright. He's gonna do something. You know... The worst part is just that Waffle is slow. Waffle is so slow. So I can't, like... Get him to do stuff very efficiently. No! Thank you, Invincibility Frames. You let me live there, didn't you? Alright, I don't know. He decided just to not hit me, I guess. Okay, if you shoot him! If you shoot him before, he'll do an attack. Like, you'll load him up with like a bunch of bullets and then uh, shatter his guard. He just gives up. Like, if you shatter his guard, things are gonna go good. Alright, start walking right. There we go. I actually think this boss is a lot more fair than the last boss we faced. At least this boss, there is a way. You can always see him. The camera will always track him, and you're always having an eye on him. Sure, it's gonna be hard, but it's the final boss. Every final boss is hard. If it wasn't, then it wouldn't really feel like a final boss. This feels like I'm having a fair fight with just a friend. A big friend of my mother. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. I think we went in here with less than optimal health. Officer Waffle, don't give up. Please try again. Wouldn't that mean he can't fix the thing? So that means just no extra health? Anyway. Yeah, I think I like this final boss a lot more. I think I used to have trouble with it when I was a kid. Or when I was a kid, when I played this a couple of years ago. Just whenever a go was when I was a kid. I guess when I was a teenager. Oh, Lord. But now I can kind of accept that I like its pattern a lot more than some of the other bosses. That, that one might be a little bit sus. Oh, Lord. Just when he flings us, flings himself at us, that's probably the worst part. Alright, start, start movement. But when he flings himself at us, you gotta kinda like, go down and to the right. It's kinda hard. There's no way to really jump over him, so... Maybe you could jump out of the way? Damn. Come on, boy. Shit, what up? Maybe if I jump, I could get that extra little bit of momentum to get out of the way. Okay. What's the score? What's next? Okay. Wait for it and go. Yeah, the jump 
tends to give us like that little bit of extra wiggle room that we just needed to get by that. Okay. Nope, he's going left. Okay, he's going left again. That's not fun. He really tries to trip you up, I tell you what. You know, sometimes you just don't get it either way, because that's just the fault of the game. The camera itself is just a problem. When the camera's a problem, yeah, a lot of other bosses are going to have the same problem of that it's hard to dodge. Okay. What's the score? What's next? You see, he just hits me on his way here. It's just like... Dodge. I'm fine with this attack. Because I know how to kind of dodge it. All right. That's unfair. Fuck you. Game over. What do we get for a game over? We just get loaded back to the title screen. And we have a save data right before we start the boss, so it's kind of like you just have infinite lives for this boss. Try again. I want to check something. No, I just don't know what that's from. Alright, that's not fun. I was looking at stuff. That's not fun. I was trying to check something. This ain't starting off good, is it? How do we do that weird jump thing? Like, how do we make him jump weirdly? You know, like when he's dodging for some reason? Sugar, what's wrong? Sugar, you're still in here, aren't you? Sugar wants to be in front of the camera, but I don't think she knows that the camera isn't on. Okay. It's like you have to kind of hit it when it comes to a certain point. Sugar, what's up? I'm still trying to beat the final boss. Jumping out of the way. I don't know why that one took a little bit to get over to me. Yeah, it's like kind of when you see the red part of its eye... When it's spinning, you kind of want to jump immediately after that. Okay, it's doing the orb of eternity. Jump! Alright, spin time. I don't know, you see the red the entire time, but I've just learned the pattern, I think. Okay. You see, if you jump too early, he just aims like he's able to aim on you. But if he's, like, stuck running in one direction, he'll just give up because, like, he's too far for one direction more like one erection am I right I just ah, you see I get a pattern and it's like fuck you well try again even sugar's like man you're dying this much 
Are you really a commentary? <laughs> Are you really a good Let's Player? No, I've never said I was a good Let's Player. I just said I am a memester. Just don't get hit stupidly. Don't be a stupid idiot. <laughs> Diggle is just so angry, and it's like keeping me on edge for him going, woo, woo, woo. He's been doing it for like minutes on end, and it's like, why? What kind of event is so intense for Diggle that he needs to just have somebody at him at the entire time? <sighs> Sugar's like, man, you, you really made that noise. And I got hit by that because I didn't know its trajectory. Here comes the spin. Sugar, what's up? You just want to go out? Probably. I dodged that. Whatever. Fuck you. I'm at least better than how I have done so far. There's an art to the dodge! It's like right afterwards, he just hits me with his body instead, because he's like, well, I couldn't hit you with my stupid running tech. Now he's just going to hit me with his other techniques, because he's just, he's pissed. He's like, you... Don't want to get hit by my attacks? Man, I've never heard of somebody not wanting to get hit by my attacks. Alright, stay close to the wall. He may walk in on you. And watch you suss off. Sometimes he only does it once. Sometimes he does it twice. Sometimes it's confusing. Dodge. Dodge. Oh lord, okay, he's dead. I don't know if this is the the only the first form or the final boss, I don't know. What do you think, sugar? Let's go get Alicia. so concerned oh no what's happening now Jackal, fucking stop. what are the crystals doing the crystals crash oh no it's calling it back oh no it's coming back to life what am I gonna do I gotta feed it again. Ugh, it's getting faster. I. This game sometimes, dude. Hit registration. Not fun. I think it's going faster than last time, but just barely. Like its health is going down faster. I'm going to just move out of the way. Trying to make the curve in on me. That's just bullshit. That's bullshit. Alright, welcome back to the 15th millionth time I've beaten the boss. And I looked up a walkthrough. And guess what? You don't have to beat the boss twice. You have to smash the crystals that come out. 
And all you gotta do is you gotta jump up and press the circle button. I've been trying for like half an hour to beat the second part of this boss. And looking that up just made me feel a whole lot better. I've gotten to this part. I've perfected it at this point. I just don't want to fight it again. So we're smashing crystals. Get the crystals, Crash. And I'm pissed. This final boss is bullshit. The second form, no point in fighting it. I learned that this is just completely fucking horrible. If you were to die here and then restart, Waffle would tell you... Waffle would tell you, oh, I have to do something about the crystals, but guess what? That's all you gotta do. You don't have to fight him twice. When I was when I was on the plane, I beat him twice. I had no internet connection. How was I supposed to know you're supposed to do that? I hate this final boss. This game is charming. This game is beautiful. I just hate that final boss. Let's watch the ending cutscenes. I'm pissed. At least I'm done. At least I get a cool cutscene at the end. Looks like he survived. There he goes. happy ending but I'm still pissed this game is amazing I love the art style I love the anime cutscenes I even love the 3d models that glitch the entire way I even love some of the gameplay some of the bosses it's the worst part the bosses and the control the control I can't move it's tank controls mixed with analog controls and that's horrible the camera can't move it whatsoever, and the bosses are just all bullshit. But I play this game for the story. I love the story. It's simplistic, I know, but it's just so cute. And I'd much rather play this game than many other games that just are so boring. Some games just have so boring story, and the art style is just like crap and basic, but it's like... This just has personality oozing everywhere, and that's why I love this game. It doesn't matter how pissed I am at it. I will always remember that I love this game. So what else can I say? This game is just... There was supposed to be a sequel to Ter Tale Concerto. When I was looking up the boss fight, just so that I could see how I could beat it normally, I saw this video on the recommended saying that CyberConnect originally thought that they were going to make a sequel to Tale Concerto. And while Soul to Robo uh, Red the Hunter is technically a sequel since uh, uh, Waffle, Alicia, Flair, and Stare all appear in it, 
it doesn't really have anything to do with them. So it's kind of sad that we didn't get a game based around them again. But there are more games in what's called the Little Tail Bronx series. There's Soul to Robo, Red the Hunter, and then there's an MMO called Little Tail Bronx. I think it's only in Japan or Korea, so I don't think I'll ever be able to play it. But if it ever does come to America, you're for sure going to see me play it, because I love this series. I'm not a furry, but I love this series. I don't know why, just the personality. And also, I like Alicia and Waffle, so, man, that's why. Other than that, there's, you could go find the photos. I'm not really interested in looking at the photos anyway, because it's like, I liked playing the game more than looking for the photos. If there were actual, like, interesting collectibles, like you could get power-ups for the ship, then that would be a little bit more interesting, but... This game is a lot more simplistic than other platformers. It's not even a platformer. Like I keep saying, this is a very unique kind of game. I don't know what to call it. It's it's the Little Bronx series. Little Tail Bronx. Uh, and it's cute. I like cute. And it's playing the Four Little Tale, which is the game's theme. Do you want to save the bonus data? Yes. You can't play the game from the bonus data. Remember, overriding this state data. So if I go to slot one and just save it below it, we now have like a, I guess you could call it epilogue. I'm gonna load the bonus data. You'll see the bonus mode. If we go load the bonus mode, Nothing really happens. It's 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 weird. You can't play the normal stages or face off any of the bosses again. You just you kind of get to walk around Porto. You just get to walk around and well, you can look at the stuff you got. You can play with the telephone. Maybe I shouldn't have called headquarters. I have a hunch they'll want me to work. You can look at here at the photos that we got. I think we already had that one. I think we already had that one. This is a new one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then what else can you do? Because I didn't explore this like to an extent, like an extended amount. Phonograph. This is just options for audio. What about in the garage? Oh, Alicia's in the garage. Yo. Good morning, Alicia. Don't good morning me. Look at you. There's no way to be dressed in front of a lady. I'm sorry, but this is all I have. Apparently all I have are my work clothes and my sleep clothes. Waffle, do you always lounge around in your pajamas on your days off? I don't know why, but I feel more relaxed in my pajamas. Hmm. Well, you can talk to Alicia. I'll forget about work and just relax. Can we talk to her for any other stuff? You can still salute, though. Nothing has changed in Porto since the old days. It's really nostalgic. I'll salute you again. And she just keeps on saying that. Well, let's walk on out and see if there's anything extra. It's really just... You get to talk to random people. And that's about it. No other extra story modes exist here, I don't think. Hi, Stair. Hello. Um, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm. I hope tomorrow will be a fine day as well. Yes, I do too. Um... You look nice in that. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Always away with the ladies, doesn't he? Ace Blair. 
Good morning, big brother. I guess since it's Japanese, it would be Onichan. <laughs> big brother? Is it okay if I call you my big brother? Sure you can, but it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> then I'll call you big brother from now on. Okay, but it's still a little embarrassing. I don't think if you talk to her, anything else happens. What are you going to do today? Today I'm going to Prairia with my friends. To Prairia? What for? We're going to play a practical joke on Siam. It's fun because he's so gullible. I feel sorry for Siam. I don't. See, did Stare say anything else? Extra? It's a beautiful day, isn't it, Waffle? Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, all this is is just you can talk to people again. Well, well, you sure slept a long time. Were you dreaming about the black cats? He's dreaming about his girlfriend. And yes, I like Alicia and Waffle. Don't at me until you at me. Alicia told me she'll let me join the black cats. Alicia, hasn't she learned her lesson? Fat dude. Hey, Waffle, have you collected all the photos in your photo album yet? You collect all of them, you'll be able to see a bonus picture. A bonus item. Yeah, the last one just seems to be photos of, uh, like, concept photos. I've been waiting for a vacation for a long time. I'm just here to relax. Yeah, that's all this is. It's just like you get to walk around in Porto as Waffle in his pajamas. So, anyway. I don't know what's coming up next. This is, I've cleared the playthroughs for now because I've done Sly and I've done Tail Concerto. I don't know if I'm going to do Solo to Robo next. It would, it would be a cool idea, but I don't know. Anyway. Thanks for sticking around, and hopefully I can fix my brain before the next part. So, I'll see you guys next time on The Backlog.